Now, if you guys stay tuned throughout this entire video, you will be rewarded at the end with a little surprise. All right, guys, in front of me, I've got a package from longacrelaunchers.com. I'm gonna put that link here on the screen in just a moment. All right, so a couple things I wanna talk about first. Right away, you'll notice the package is very slim. So we're not wasting hardly any space here. We've got one little filler up here, and that's just so these uh, tubes don't clunk around. You can see that in there. Um, this rack in particular is called the Spread Out Mortar Launcher. Now, a few things about the design of this rack. It's actually pretty cool how this guy did it. The physical design of this rack is actually pretty important, and it's part of the reason why he created this. Uh, so we're going to take it out and show you what we mean by that. Okay, so just looking at the rack here, let me stand up so I can talk more about this. Um, you'll notice a few things here. Number one, the design of this rack reduces the cost of what you would normally pay for a rack of this shot count. And we'll tell you why. So they don't use any OSB in this rack. Um, if you look down there on the bottom, you can see it's a flat square, so each tube is actually touching the base of the rack. Pretty cool, and it makes it more stable doing it that way. Now by using this type of wood to construct the rack, they're actually able to cut the rack down by a pound, which saves the customer money on shipping. The other cool thing about this rack is the design itself does not take away from the structural integrity, so it's still as solid of a rack as it would be with that extra pound of wood on there. Now diving deeper into this box, you can see we've also got a base plate, and this is for stability purposes. You can see there are three screw holes, and the screws are actually right here in this little bag. So what you'll do is just get a drill, you can pop those right in there like that. Um, towards the way bottom of the package here, we've got a little piece of paper. We'll go over this. Um, I'm not going to sit here and read this whole thing, but you guys are more than welcome to pause and read it as you go. Now, if you guys stay tuned throughout this entire video, you will be rewarded at the end with a little surprise. So I was thinking, what better way to break in an angled rack like this than with some mine shells? So we're going to be using these 12 mine shells in the spread out mortar launcher. We will be fusing all six together to make two sleeves that'll be shot out of this rack. Now the ones up front here, these are the Legend Fireworks Mines, and these are the Your Tube Shells by T-Sky. These shells here on the bottom row feature a mine up to a canister shell break. These however do not, these are 100% mine shells. And I hope you guys really enjoy the following clips. enjoyed that little edit and now we are ready to go shoot them off. All right, guys, the rack works awesome, but I feel like it's more for concentration of the shells in the air. You know how when you have a six shot rack and they all go straight up? Well, I feel like this rack is definitely supposed to help spread those out. It's kind of difficult to see it in mine shells because they already have that spread to them. 
which is something I didn't really think of until after watching the video. Uh, but if you used like Excaliburs in them or something like that, you would most definitely see that spread in the air. Hope you guys enjoyed and we're going to do another video with this rack coming soon.